basically the best thing we can say is exercise is the best vaccine for anything we may face, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at, I've never seen a research study says, hey, to prevent X, Y, or Z, never exercise, right? Now we're hopefully assuming that people exercise the right intensity with the right form and technique so they don't get injured orthopedically. That being said, you're not going to see that, oh, you want to reduce heart disease, stop exercising. You want to reduce all these different forms of cancer, stop exercising. So we've got to get people moving. We've got to get people more active, both exercise and activity. The boxes need to be checked. But, you know, I know Rick Ritchie has said this. I know I've heard other people say it. You could work out two to three days a week and still be sedentary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and that's just it. It's like, what is working out? You know, and because you've got to think and how long are you working out? Think about how many hours are in a day, a week, a month. And, you know, what is the comparison? And then when you look at these stats, when they're saying anywhere from 175 to 300, you know, minutes, I mean, Marty, you even said that it's 50, 50 minutes a day on average, if you're working out six days a week, taking a day off, if you don't want to work out six days a week, you don't have to, but just make sure that when you're doing it, you're committed, you're working hard, you're really pushing yourself to different limits, you're challenging your abilities to go into things and doing things that you're not comfortable with. And when you do that, you're going to start to see a lot of health benefits you know, not only just just physically, but you're going to feel so much better.